So we're gonna be now going into the reverse motors. We've already done the forward motors and that is obviously wire for wire, straightforward. Doesn't matter which way you do it, it's gonna spin that same direction. The way you make them reverse is really simple. I was like confused at first until someone explained it. I'm like, dude, that's like beyond simple. All you have to do is literally switch two of these wires to make it go reverse. So all I have to do literally is switch those two or those two. I just gotta cross two of the three that are coming out here with each other and that will make the motor spin in the opposite direction. So I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with this one, but just with the furthest cable over on either side going to the center and the other two taking the reserve spots. Um, so obviously if this one isn't being crossed over, it's gonna just continue going to its spot. This one's gonna go to its furthest spot and the outside's gonna go to the middle. Really simple. I thought it was so much more difficult than that then until I watched a video. So I decided to make my own because I'm really good at soldering and I'm really good at making these things simple and quick. Nobody wants to watch a stupid 20 freaking minute video on how to solder and how to BS your way through something. God, man, just get it over with. I don't got time to watch your videos. So, in my videos, I try to cut to the chase. So we're just gonna just jump down to it. I am trimming off the shrink tube right now as we speak. I wanna expose those wires at their junctions because they're really simple to get off. It's just a easy solder joint. You can tell that they simply just dabbed a wire onto it and called it good from the factory. So, I trim it back. Heat it up, pull off. Heat it up, pull off. Heat it up, pull off. Boom. That quick, okay? We don't need a church around this crap. So we're gonna line up the video here, okay? And this time, I'm not going to go a quarter inch back. I'm gonna go a little shorter, but I'm going to snip the center one to the length I want it. And then the other two are going to be a little bit more length. So I think I'm wanting it about right there. So that's the center, but it's the outside wire. And the other two are going to be obviously a quarter inch longer. Ish. I always say ish because I don't exactly use a measuring tape, but if I would guess, it's an eighth inch to a quarter inch. We just need them a little bit longer so that the, the wires lay next to each other when they finish. I always kind of like to give a little bit of prep on those, give them a little bit of a spin so that the wires don't fray when you solder and you get this fat, ugly fray. You want a simple, tight wrap with solder so that it's really easy to connect to something. It really bonds better. So, tinning is done. Third one is obviously shorter. So the way that this is obviously gonna sit is this way because I couldn't configure the way that these would sit with these things being here unless they were laying on their flat side. So I'm putting them upside down even though the lettering is on the bottom. So obviously it's gonna be like this. So I'm gonna flip them, super easy. I'm gonna hold it down with something. And I don't even need the solder. I'm just going to solder my center center lead on this one, I think, first. We'll just do it. Who cares? It don't matter. So just find the sweet spot. Okay. Okay, so those two are switched. And then we're gonna bring in our third one to its corner. Go to your home. Your home needs you. So, that's it. Super easy done. 
Your wires are tight and right. And that's the way we like it tonight. Just kidding. But thanks for watching. That's easy way soldering your board to your thing. Now you have slack just in case, you know, something goes wrong. You can still cut it and you still have play here. If you would have done it the other way and cut these all short right here and done it this way, you'd have no extra wires to play with. So keep it long, keep it strong. Have a good day.